We're covering Colorado first tonight from Weld County. Fire crews spent much of the day making sure a fire at an oil site in Windsor was completely out. Last night, the fire sparked and it caused a blast that shook homes and sent one worker at that site to the hospital. Some residents told CBS4 they hid under their beds. CBS4's Melissa Garcia is live in Weld County tonight. And Melissa, that fire burned throughout the night. Firefighters tell us they were able to get the last of those flames put out around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now that well, which you can see way back there, not too far back in that open field, is surrounded by barriers. And you know, it's not far from a new residential subdivision that is home to hundreds. So we talked with some of those neighbors there today that are still pretty shaken up. I was actually putting my daughter down to bed. Justin Daniels, uh, so, who lives yeah. just across Weld County Road 68, was tucking his two-year-old into bed when an oil and gas extraction site on the east edge of Windsor went up in flames following an explosion. We just felt, uh, heard this really loud boom and then felt the house shake. Copter 4 video shows the glowing blaze from miles away, a distance from which other residents could also hear the boom. I thought it was something close to home because of how loud it was. It's heard a loud Bang, saw the door shaking. Fire burned furiously at the portable drilling operation owned by the company Extraction Oil and Gas. You could just see that massive plume of smoke up in the sky. Uh, the fire looked like that it was still spreading. Flames rose from multiple areas at the smoky scene. Firefighters doused the blaze for hours. Tiny more water. Dumping hundreds of thousands of gallons in a difficult operation. Getting water in there was another challenge because the there's no hydrants. They're in a field about, you know, three quarters of a mile away from the nearest hydrant. Engine seven from attack. Did you get water yet? One worker on site was rushed to the hospital. An extraction oil and gas spokesman could not answer questions or say how badly the worker was hurt, but provided a statement saying he is, quote, stable and that the company's thoughts are with him for a speedy recovery. Considering I do this for a living, I work for the oil and gas industry. Uh, with what happened, yeah, it's. It's very incredible that only one person has been injured. The Colorado Gas and Oil Conservation Commission tell us once it is safe to go into that facility, they will be joining in on the investigation along with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. As for right now, the cause of the fire and explosion has not been determined. We're live in Weld County tonight. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Thanks.